Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss about exclusive OR gate. Exclusive OR gate. The name clearly tells that it is an exclusive gate which gives output 1 when odd number of 1s are there in the inputs. Okay, exclusively it checks for the odd number of inputs in this XOR gate. And in the XNOR gate, it checks for the even number of 1s. If there are even number of 1s in the input, then output is 1. But in XR gate, if there are odd number of 1s, then the output is 1. That is the main purpose of this exclusive gate. Okay, we have seen basic gates, we have seen NOT gate, NAND gate, NOR gate. Okay, all these gates are different, basic gates and universal gates. Now, this is exclusive gate which gives 1 output as 1 when odd number of 1s in the 1. Okay, I will write here. The output of XOR gate is logic 1 when there are when there are odd number of odd number of 1s in the input when there are odd number of 1s in the input. Okay. The representation symbol of this XR gate is symbol of this XR gate is C. R gate. R gate. How R gate we have? We have to take the same R gate. See here. We need to take the same R gate. And we have to take one more layer in the beginning. And these are the inputs AB. Okay, then y is equal to a x r b. The representation of x r b x r in mathematics way it is plus circle plus in a circle that is a x r b that represents x r. This symbol represents x r operation. Okay, e x or r simply x or x r operation. <laughs> Okay, now let us see the truth table of this XR gate. Truth table. So, truth table, there are two inputs and output Y, which is equal to A XR B 0 1, sorry, 0 0, 0 1, 1 0, 1 1. So, 0 0. A XRB. What is the statement from the XR gate? When odd number of inputs are 1, so output is 1. That means second one is 1, third one is 1, it is 0 and again it is 0. This is the output of the XR gate. Okay. As per the statement from the XR gate, we can say that the output is 1 when all the odd number of 1s are there in the input combinations. In the many cases, output is 0. Okay. Now, Let us see how this XR gate can be used to implement a different formula, different, we cannot say formula, it is in property, properties of different logic gates. Okay, see, properties of, properties of XR gate. properties of XR gate. First property A plus means A XR 1 is equal to A bar. A XR 1 is equal to A bar. Let us check. See A XR 1. A XR 1. Suppose consider A as 0, B as 1. So A XR 1. 0 xr 1 output is 1. So, complement of this 0. And similarly here, a xr 0, not this one. And again this one, a xr 1. So, 1 becomes 0. Complement of that particular value, a xr b, a xr 1. And second case, second property, a xr 0 is equal to a. 
a x r 0 is equal to a that means if 0 x r 0 it is 0 1 x r 0 that is 1 and third one a x r a output is equal to 0 because because for the same if we perform the XR operation as these two are same if it is 0 output uh, both are zeros if it is 1 both are 1s then output is equal to 0 from the truth table only we are drawing all these next one a XR a bar is 1 a XR a bar is 1 let us see the proof also how we have got this one so a x r a bar that is equal to a dot a bar bar plus a bar into a bar is equal to a plus a bar is equal to 1. Now fifth property is a b x r a c a b x r a c so let us prove this a b x r a c that is equal to so we know the formula see in general formula is a x r b can be written as a bar b plus a b bar a bar b plus a b bar so a b plus a c is equal to a b x r a c is equal to a b dot a c bar because a b bar plus a bar b plus a b bar into a c so if we take a b common then a bar plus c plus a bar plus b bar into a c that is equal to it gives you after simplification a into b c bar plus b bar c that is a into what is this this is nothing but xr operation between b and c so b x r c b x r c <coughs> okay this is the output equation see check whether we have got the same or not a into b x r c so a b x r a c is equal to a into b x r c a into b x r c now coming to the sixth property see the all these properties are very important when we are going deeper about these gates so if a x r b is equal to c then a x r b is equal to if a x r b is equal to c then a x r c a x r c is equal to b c if a x r b is equal to c then a x r c is equal to b comma b x r c is equal to a b x r c is equal to a that means a x r b x r c is equal to 0 so let us see the proof of this one a x r b x r c nothing but 3 input x r gate so a x r b a x r b x r again a x r b 
So that is equal to C A X R B. How we are writing A bar B plus A B bar. So A X R B into A X R B whole bar plus A X R B whole bar into A X R B. Okay. So A into A bar. A into A bar simply it is zero. Simply it is zero. Okay, hence it is proved. Okay, there are several uh, proofs are there. You can do any of the proofs, no problem. But ultimately we can have to ensure that the output is zero. A X R B X R C is equal to zero. When A X R B is equal to C, A X R C is equal to B, and B X R C is equal to A, provided. If all these three conditions are true, then we have we can say that a x or b x or c is equal to zero. Okay, so this is about exclusive OR gate. In the next video, we will tell exclusive NOR gate. Thank you.